I'm here. Lift your voice and exalt him. Lord, I'm here. Let me have an encounter. Go ahead and speak to him, Lord. Let me have an encounter. Somebody pray. Lord, let me have an encounter. Let tonight be the night that I've been waiting for. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Let me have an encounter tonight. Father, let me have an encounter. <clears throat> Lord, let me have an encounter. Jesus, let me have an encounter. In Jesus' mightiest name, we are free. Tonight, you will see God. Tonight, you will see God. You will see him revealing himself. You will see him showing himself mighty. And on every side, the Lord will meet you at the point of your need. This is your night. Now, I want us to pray a prayer quickly. The wonder walking God is the God of incurable diseases. Hallelujah. So I want you to pray, Lord, every diseases that is common to man, don't let it come near me and my household. Every diseases that is common to man, Lord, take evil away from me. Jesus, take infirmity away from my household. King of glory, Lord of lords, take infirmity away. Somebody pray. <clears throat> Lord, take evil away. Take infirmities away. Holy Ghost, take infirmities away. Jesus, I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. Take infirmities away. In Jesus, mightiest name we have prayed. Now open your two hands wherever you are. By the authority of God, I speak over your life. You and your household will assess divine health. This very night, anyone under the sound of my voice, whatever evil report you have received from the hospital, I speak now that the wonder working God will step in. He will destroy all evil reports and he will avert the counsel of the wicked. Tonight, there is liberty in the house and there is liberty for all. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you for all that you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. You may please have your seat. Sweet Holy Spirit, speak through me tonight. Let no flesh glory in your presence. Minister through me. Touch lives. And revive all. Amen. For in Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> now we start this month on a great note. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You will bring fortune to yourself. Amen. Again, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will bring fortune to yourself. Amen. For the last time, you will bring fortune to yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We started this month on a great note. Psalms 74 and Psalm 77 and verses 4. I don't like what you have said on this sound at all. Psalm 77 and verses 11. 
I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely, I will remember your wonders of hope. I will remember. We serve the God of again and again. And whatever he has done, he can do it again. If you can see him, it's so bulky on the altar. I don't like this at all. If you can see him, or you have heard of him curing someone of any infirmity, he can do it again. If you can see him lifting someone up, then he can lift up again. If you can see him helping someone who is at the verge of losing it, then he can save anyone. He is the God of again and again. Oh, we've had people who had been trusting God for the food of the woman in the last 30 years. And God visited them. If you have seen God give miracle children, he can do it again. We've had people who all hope lost medical report verdict against them. Amen. And he said, this one cannot survive again. He said, take off the oxygen. They took off their oxygen. He said, there is nothing we can do on this one now. And the king of glory steps in. Amen. And then some said, it's a miracle. If he is a miracle working God, then he can do yet again another miracle. Are you listening? He can do yet again another what? Miracle. Hallelujah. Please just return the son back to the way he was. Okay? You do that. You'll be helping me by doing that. Now, he's the God of again and again. Hallelujah. And so, that's why Hebrew was speaking in Hebrews chapter 12. And verses 1. Hebrew 12 and verses 1. I'd like you to follow Kinley tonight because God of heaven is going to attend to your case speedily. Amen. Wherefore, saying ye also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. A cloud of witnesses. Hallelujah. Thank you. Let us lay aside. We are compassed with such a great cloud of witnesses that we have gotten enough testimonies that tells us is a wonder working God. Enough testimony. We have seen children without the as parents not surviving. And we have seen children without parents surviving. Are you following me right now? And we have seen children of great parents becoming vagabonds. And we have seen children of a very horrible background becoming an extension of God. The God the wonder walking God. He's the God of strange change of story. He is the God of strange change of story. He changes people's story overnight. Tonight I speak to you and on your life, wherever you are. God will attend to your case. Now, Hebrews 12, verses 1. That we are compassed with such a great cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sins which doth easily beset us. Let us run with patience. Race 
that is what? That is set before us. Verse 2. It says, looking unto Jesus, the author. The word author means the word, the beginner. The finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured. The word endured there means he waited. He endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. Psalm 77 verses 11. Verse 12 says, I will also meditate on all your works and I will talk of all your deeds. I will meditate also on all your works. That is, if I can see, I will begin to talk about the testimonies I've heard. Oh, this one shared a testimony two Sundays ago. The other shared a testimony three Sundays ago. If you can't find any, just go online. Testimonies of incurable diseases. And you, you, will, you, will, you will discover and you will see how God is settling people across the nations of the earth. Or you type testimonies on change of stories. God is working. He said, I neither sleep nor slumber. I walk round the clock. I keep watch over you just to make sure that all things are well with you. I am God all by myself. I am the helper of the helpless, needing no help. God is the helper of all, needing no help. Anyone who is connected to you that need God desperately, that needs a touch from God desperately, I speak tonight, God will meet them. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So God is always there to do something for everyone. He's always there to intervene. He's always there to visit. The Bible speaking in Psalm 77 and verses 13. It says, Your way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? Who is so great? And somebody said, if this God is so great, how come this is happening? How come I'm not getting my own? How come these things are not in place? Hallelujah. And that is bringing us to the meeting of tonight. Contradicting forces of God's wonders. Contradicting forces of God's wonders. Psalm 77, verses 7 to 9. The Bible says, With the Lord cast off forever, and we he be favorable no more. Psalm 77, 7 to 9. With the Lord cast off forever, we he be favorable no more. It says in verse 8, as his mercy ceased forever. As his mercy ceased forever. Because that's what some people are asking. When they can assess his wonders, when they can assess the blessing, they begin to ask questions. As his promise failed forevermore, God forgotten to be gracious. <laughs> As God forgotten to be gracious. No. Even, even a witch, 
if a witch cry now, say, Jesus, that witch is safe. On the way, are you listening right now? If a witch just say, Jesus, help me, that irrespective of what the witch has done before, Jesus is Jesus for all. That's why the Bible says, He that cometh to the Father, he shall no wise cast out. He just cry, I surrender Jesus instantly. The blood of Jesus will wash away the evil report that of that which is against him. That which the witch has done. Everything will be blotted out in the tinkle of an hour. This is what Christ can do. How much more you that have not done wickedly. How much more you that come to Zion. How much more you, you that you are in the presence of the Lord forevermore. The Bible said they began to ask. As he in anger shut up his tender mercy. As he in his anger shut up his tender mercy. So there are contradicting forces of God's wonders. Number one. What has contradicted God's wonders? Unbelief. Mark chapter 6. And I read to us from 5 to 6. Mark chapter 6. From 5 to 6. The Bible says, And he could dare do no mighty works. Jesus came with an understanding to heal. He came with an understanding to set free. I'd like you to see this. He was coming in the fullness of his strength to set the community free, to set the people free, to proclaim liberty, to restore health. The Bible says, Mark 6 verse 5, And he could dare do no mighty works, save that he laid his hand upon a few. He could dare do no mighty hands, hallelujah, upon a few and healed. In verse 6, the Bible says, And he marveled, because every time he was trying to release the spirit, nothing was working. And he marveled because of what? Their unbelief. He's asking you tonight. Do you truly think you will end this year well? Yes, sir. Oh. I am sure, sir. Yes. Do you believe that this year will be glorious for you? Yes. Do you truly believe that the end result of this year is in your favor? Yes, sir. In fact, yes, he has so many long days. Do you believe that this month, all you've been asking from January, you will get it? Yes. If you're watching me online right now or you're in church and they have given you a medical verdict that something is wrong with your health, if you believe with me right now, listen to this. If you believe in that this is yours, any medical verdict, I speak believing, I speak believing, tonight there is a change of reports. Amen. I speak in the name of Jesus. Tonight there is a change of report. He marveled because of their unbelief. And he went round about the village teaching. He couldn't do mighty works. He couldn't do mighty works. Why? Their unbelief killed the spirit of the almighty God. So you can stop him. You can hinder him. You can deny him from walking on your life. Are you following me right now? It's not about what the report has said. It's about what you can believe he's able to do. Are you with me right now? We received different kind of verdict, medical verdict that we couldn't have children. But we believed the law. That's what the Bible says. Whose report will you believe? 
whose report will you hold on to? He said, for his report shall we believe. Looking unto Jesus, the author, the author, the author, and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy of what was set ahead of him, he endured the cross. Unbelief is a major force. A major reason. The Islamic addict who carried a bomb to destroy others is because the, he has been brainwashed to believe it, that there are certain virgins waiting for him. And then he believes so all he wanted to see were those virgins. And then he's ready to detonate anything. Are you following me right now? That is somebody who is believing in doing evil. How much more you with great light ahead of you? How much more you with great joy ahead of you? How much more you who has been bought with the price? The blood of Jesus is the price tag. You can't be touched. No. You just need to believe in the potency of this wonder-working God. The wonder-working power of God is ineffective until faith is in action. He marveled because of their own belief. Everything around you may not be working, but Jesus is working. As long as if all the things around you has not drowned you, they've not swallowed you, there is hope. Are you listening right now? As long as there is still breath inside of you, God is working. If God stop working on your life, he will just cut the cable. And what is making your heart pant, pump blood, will just disappear. It is because of the lost message, the Bible says, that we are not consumed. It's not of our works, lest any man should boast. We are all standing by the message of God. Don't entertain unbelief. Can you be maritally settled? Can you carry godly children? Yes, sir. Can you have a good home? Yes, sir. Can you break forth on every side? Yes, sir. Can things and everything work for you? Yes, sir. Can everything answer in your favor? Yes, sir. If you believe, shout and say, I believe it. I believe it. Say, I believe it. I believe it. Say, I believe this year believe this that all things will work for me. Yes, say, this business of mine will succeed. Now let me tell you how people feel. Without starting, when you first conclude failing, you have failed. That's how people feel. That's one phase. Number two, how people feel. When you believe you will succeed, are you listening right now? And you are now trying to ask Femi, this kind of business, do people always succeed? Are you following me right now? It, that's number two way of failing. Some will say, I didn't believe, but now I believe. You believe? And you are trying to ask somebody. And you tell, well, some people succeed, some people fail. Now you have reason to accept one side of failing. When there are two nations warring inside of you, Are you following me right now? You must get to a level where you stop thinking as man if you must see the wonder-working power of God. And where you start thinking like God. Christ in me. The hope of glory. It's not of me, but of him. That showed me mercy. And you stand believing 
trusting him earnestly with all of your heart. I will pass my exams. I will soar high. No. It doesn't concern me. Whatever is happening, a thousand shall fall by the right. Ten thousand, it will not come near me. When there is a casting down, the righteous will say there is a lifting up. I'm breaking forth. I'm breaking forth. And the Bible says, Thou shalt have whatsoever you say. He said, If thou will say to this mountain, Be thou removed and be cast away. And thou doubtest not in your heart, thou shalt have whatsoever you say. Some say, From tonight, all things are working in my favor. Say again, In the name of Jesus, from tonight, everything working in my favor. Say, From tonight, nothing dies around me. Say in the name of Jesus, everything that pertains to me lives. So may there is life, health and vitality upon all that is mine. So you decide what should live. Are you listening right now? You decide what should live. Are you following me right now? You decide what should leave. Are you listening right now? Mosquito leaves around you. And if you don't want to see it again, you bring um, your insecticide. And then you begin to speak. This one should not leave. Amen. Why? Everything was ordained to leave around you. In him dwell the life and this life became the light of man. This light shines in darkness, and darkness comprehended not. You must believe when, even when there is nothing to believe. The Bible gave account from Romans 4. If you read down from verses 20, against hope he hoped. Against hope. Abraham staggered not. At what? At the promises of God. Through what? Unbelief. The Bible says, Abraham was strong in faith. How the wonder working God came and said to him, this guy had been waiting from when he was 70. He didn't see it. 75, he didn't see it. 80, he didn't see it. 85, he didn't see it. At 99, Kiswa the the wonder walking God. And the Bible says, Abraham staggered not. He was still trusting. Through unbelief. The Bible says, he was giving glory to God. Glory to God. The, the language of men is not the end of it all. The conclusion of a thing flows from the mouth of God. Who said a thing and it comes to pass? When the Lord has not commanded it. When the Lord has what? Has not commanded it. If it will yield the result, is what God has commanded. It doesn't matter what anybody tells you as prophecy. And it doesn't matter who is saying it. Because sometimes, because of their years of standing, you think they are God. Because of their years of standing, you say, ah, this great man of God told me he saw evil. No! Anything you can find. Let me tell you one secret. If all you know and all you can hold on to and all you believe is what God has joined together, let no man put us under. And you can affirm with authority that God has connected my life to sources. Are you following me right now? It doesn't matter who is trying to fight you. Who is trying to is that, Bible says, associate yourself together. Ye people of far country, it shall be brought to naught. He said, Ye shall be scattered. He said, Take counsel together. It shall be brought to naught. He said, For the Lord is with us. God cannot be with you. You can't carry the understanding that God is with you and evil occurrences survive around you. Never. So the contravailing force is unbelief. Number two. Prayerless life. I know you believe, but what you believe will never yield result until you speak about it. 
the Bible says, Thou shalt have whatsoever you say. And God wants you to speak something. He wants you to communicate to him. He wants you to communicate. He wants, if you have seen Elosa, whatever you pray about, God keeps. And whatever you ask him, pray about everything. Pray now. I know you are elderly. Nothing is wrong. Begin to pray, Lord. May I never witness such a day that something will fail on my hunger. Is somebody following me right now? You wake up in the middle of the night. It's not that a machine is waking you up. There are some people, it's machine that will take urine out of them. They are cell, the, the cell, the, that, that which passes signal is time to urine. Urinate is already dead. Some are living in this part of the world. People cannot just afford um, oxygen anyhow. Outside the world, outside the abroad, you see people carrying their oxygen behind their back. Their back back is their oxygen. Somebody you even know is connected to their body, and that's how they live. And some live like that for years. Some even believe so much in science and they survive. That, that's somebody believing in science survived. What happens when he believes in God? Prayerless life. Pray about every, every opportunity you have, sir. Pray. The th things are working. Pray more. If you see your children run around and they're making so much noise, so much noise, hello, sir. Look for a corner. Father, I thank you. May this not end. Are you listening right now? May this not end. May, may a day not come that I will pray for my children to run around. Lord, if only this guy can just run around. I think it will be well. No! Every you just had one breakthrough now. Pray. Pray more. Lord, thank you for this. Father, that which you have brought, keep it. We have people who can say, I will be great, but can't pray for greatness. We have people who can say, I'm going to break through, but cannot pray to secure breakthrough. Father, I can see it. Therefore, take me there. I can see it. Take me there. In the name of Jesus, you like your belly than you like your life. You eat everything. Jesus was speaking in Jesus was speaking, he said in Mark chapter 9 verse 29. And he said unto them Mark 9:29, this kind goeth not forth. He says, but by prayer and what? And fasting. Some can pray, can't fast. Fasting is a period of self-denial. It just denies you of something. It, it, fasting subjects the body to the spirit of God. It helps you. It's a time of separation. Where you shut the door at everything. Hello? That you sacrifice a day in a week to wait on the Lord. He can save you eternity. Pray. Every opportunity you have, stand up and pray. When prophecies have gone, and you come to church on Sunday, prophecies have gone. You know what the Bible says concerning Timothy? He said, my son Timothy, I beseech thee by the mercies of God concerning the prophecies that have gone ahead of you. He said, Timothy, he said, war. Fight. A good warfare. He said, fight. You must war with prophecies. You must war with prophecies. You have heard that the wonder working God is the God of incurable diseases. Lord, fix me now. Of things now and of things to come, fix me now. In, irrespective of the infirmities across nature, fix me now. Are you listening right now? Fix me now. Give me complete and sound health. Fix me now. Fix me now. Help me stand ahead of infirmities. Thou shalt have what you say. Be sold out. To pray every opportunity you have. You are on the road. I have life in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus, things are working. I have life. I have life. I have life. If you can be spiritually conscious, sir, 
Forget about it. You have overcome the forces. The days of evil are still coming up. We, 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 we just heard of COVID and the whole world is shaking. <laughs> Some very dangerous if diseases you can, you've not heard before are coming. You need to prepare yourself now. As long as there is sin on the heart, as long as there are perversions on the heart, diseases will continue to prevail. And until you position yourself, you embrace a prayer life, the struggle continues. Prayerless life is one of the contradicting forces of God's wonders. Just imagine Daniel was not praying at all. Daniel prayed because he prayed, sir. The princes of Pasha, are you listening right now? Withheld his blessings. And Daniel continued hearing. If he had departed, I think this thing is not coming. <laughs> so what happened? He wouldn't get it. He continued asking. Lord, he continued. It was just like that widow who was going to the stubborn judge. She persevered. I want this Lord do it. I want this Lord do it. And when God has done it, sir, and you have thanked him, Lord, this that you have done, keep it. Don't stop there. You know what Jesus said? He said, ye receive not because ye ask a means. He said, now ask that your joy may be full. He said, don't just ask to receive. Ask that your joy may be full. Ask for sound health. When I stand on the altar and I said, I can never and will never be out of church on earth ground, I found something long ago. In him, do the fullness of Godhead bodily. He's been circumcised. We circumcised, we're not made with hands. I'm complete in Christ, who is the head of all principalities and power. I found something. And when my children came, I connected them to the same. Every one of them with blood on their body. Now hear the word of the Lord now. In you, do the fullness of Godhead bodily. You carry this life, you carry this spirit. The word you are coming is full of infirmity, so I prepare their spirit and body. The word you are coming is full of the wickedness of man, but hear the word of the Lord now. And miss the wickedness of man, you will triumph. And miss infirmity, you will stand out. For nothing will cut short your life. For this is the word of the Lord, and I have spoken as he has commanded me. Ezekiel said, I speak as I'm commanded. Every day, God's word is commanding you to say something. You are the first prophet of your life. If you can't pray, then you can't control a day. If you can't speak ahead, you can't control a day. You can't be in charge. Things will speak for you. Amen. Everything want to work. The wonder want to become a lifestyle. Hello, sir. The wonders of God can become your lifestyle. It can what? It can become your lifestyle. You can enter a realm where you lack nothing. Are you listening right now? A realm where you lack nothing. Where everything is working and everything is speaking. If you can pray about everything. I can't just imagine now, begin to think there are some gang up of witches that can take my life. At this level, I've gotten it. Never. Why? I'm seated in heavenly places. Far above principalities and powers. I'm in control. I'm the head of all principalities and powers. You can't touch me. You can't come near. At the early faith, my little boy would just wake up from sleep. Hey, okay. I look at him. Eye to eyeball to eyeball. Hear the word of the Lord now. Whatever got you scared is smaller to you. He little children. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. All you need to do is start. Lord, I stand in my office. I carry what is greater than them. I have more life, more weapon. I'm, 
I'm dangerous than them. So how can something scare you? Wake up. If you find that something is contrary, working against your health, something is working against, go back, speak to it. I don't just say this thing has come again. It's always come like that. It means acceptance. Don't accept anything. You don't like things. Things are not working. Pray about it. The church of Ephesus always go back home. They will see that after every service, they will see that. What was said in church today? They will not sleep until they have found out war with prophecies. And say now we can go to bed. But you come to church, when you step out of the door, you are forgotten. What is fighting the body of Christ is greater than what we think. And until we embrace a lifestyle of prayer, this kind, go it not forth. Except by pray and fast. You want to be in custody of God's wonders? Pray. If provisions will come, pray. If you have a peaceful home, pray. There is no perfect woman and there is no perfect man. There is just a home that Christ kept peace. Are you listening right now? Oh, things are working in our home. It's because you have invited Christ or he's interested in your home. He said, I stand at the door knocking. If anyone hears me and say, come in. Man, you must tell him, come. Invite him into all things. Lord, please come. I know you know so much. I know you're a first class graduate. I know. But you've been carrying that CV all alone. And all you've been telling people, I'm a first class graduate. Those who have passed and taught class are getting better job you don't have. Because those one who don't have good grades have God. And they know how to pray and ask for his help. If you want things to move forward, do not just rely on that which you can do. Pray about everything. Him for his help. Someone say, again, Lord, help me. So number two forces is prayerless life. Number three, thank you, Lord Jesus. Not knowing the power of waiting. Some can pray. They can pray. If I, when you see them praying and you open your mouth to pray, you so that you'll be forced to want to shut up. Say, I don't know how to pray. See how God has answered this one. And their prayer life is intimidating you. They speak in tongue like this. It's just thunderous. Have you seen tongues making melody? Very melodious. And you ask yourself, I can't even say ba ba ba. And somebody's own is making my God. What a rhythm. And you conclude in your heart, those are the ones God is answering. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Many don't know what it takes. To wait on God. Now, waiting on God goes beyond praying. Waiting on God means after every prayer, believe he has done it. Waiting on God means after every prayer, relax. After every prayer, Take your heart of worries. The Bible speaking in Psalm 27 and verses 14. It said, wait on the Lord. And he tried to explain it. He said, be of good courage. <laughs> Is somebody following me right now? Be of good courage. Then, until God can see your courage. Are you following me right now? Somebody just pray right now. Lord, he said, this business is going to work. I will start. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answer. And immediately, he's not waiting for God to just open one setting door. He took a bold step and start with that small face. That's called, called courage. He said, be of good courage. He said, when God sees your courage, what happened? He said, and I will what? I will strengthen this. Psalm 27 verse 14. He said, and we strengthen Many don't know how to wait. Wait. He is walking. Wait. They told you you are healed, but you are still seeing the symptoms. Don't worry. Don't look at the symptoms. Wait. 
He's fixing. The, it took a long while. The enemy destroyed many things. And this time, he doesn't want, he doesn't give patch of blessings. Just wait. He makes things beautiful in his time. Wait. Psalm 27, 14. He said, and he shall strengthen thy heart. He said, wait. I'll say, wait on the Lord. Wait. I say, wait on the Lord. Isaiah 40, verse 30. Isaiah 40, 30 to 31. The Bible says, even the youth shall faint. That's why you need to know this. The youth shall faint and be weary. You see, and the young men, Isaiah 40, 30. And the young men shall utterly fail. A time will come. When those you think are strong, that's what he's saying about the youth. Those he talks about those who are strong. He said they shall faint. People you think are powerful shall be weary, and young men shall utterly fall. But verse 41. He said, But they that wait upon the law shall renew. In other words, shall see new again. They just told you there's something wrong with whatever on your body organ. Lord, you are the creator of my life. And you have spare parts. I just find out that every TV I bought has spare parts. Have you seen any product that does not have spare parts? Eh? This keyboard has spare parts. If anything fall or got damaged inside, we just need to go back to the manufacturer. Amen? And they took that from God. There is nothing on your body, Pastor Femi, that does not have spare parts. You can easily ask him, Lord, give me brand new sight. This one always itch me. I just want the brand new one. And instantly, just a look.
I just bought my husband a good cap. If enter where they say men's tie, buy him a good tie. You understand me? If you want to marry a king, a prince, start buying his things now. You know, things of kings are precious. Start buying it. Don't just pick one who can. Hundred pounds. Ask how much I bought a tie. Hundred pounds. He said that's enough to how much did they marry your mother? I said yes, I bought it. The prince is coming. Uh -huh. Go out, look at good caps, buy it. You see a design thing. Just that you know now you can you can you can do freestyle. They do a and they do all the design down. Just tell them do the design. Don't sew the measurement. Keep it. When he come, he will reshape into his size. Amen. <laughs> It's called waiting. And when he comes like this, hey! Just imagine all the waiting period. And all the things. You, you have another wardrobe in the house. That is his wardrobe. He must create his wardrobe now. Stop occupying with different rubbish you have at home. Create his wardrobe. Open it in the morning. You are coming, man. This house is too small for us. And when he come, tell him, you naughty boy, come here first. You are indebted. <laughs> and guess what? Because he's a prince, he's going to pay all. He said, you kept some men's clothes, they'll be coming. Oh, bring it out. It's free size. It's your own. We will call the tailor now. He will help you reshaping it. You know, they are well fashioned. Not the old one. Get set. Get said and wait patiently if we were to look about the crowd we would not be there in IWC never if you want to see the wonder working God you must have the power of waiting the power of waiting you are closer than you think sir just wait just wait small thing look who you are closer than you think. I know there are no jobs now. But wait. Wait is coming. That will speak to my hearing. That's your own process. He said you will speak to what? My hearing. What did he say? He said and I. So the performance is not in your hands. You've done your part. Wait. And if you want him to do it in a hurry. Why waiting? Praise. Abraham staggered not at the promises of a true unbelief. What happened? The Bible said, Why waiting? He lifted up his hand, giving thanks. And God, for, from 70 years old, he's been waiting. He was just giving thanks while God was attending to all. Romans 9 9 says, And this is the word of promise. The word came. Suddenly, Sarah found a word to back it up. Find the word. Why waiting? Make sure you have found a war. He said, and God said, at this time will I come. And what happened? And Sarah shall have a son. Stand on your feet. Find a word why waiting. Lifting your hands and giving him glory. Is there something you have lost hope on? Wait. You can still build that house. Wait. You can still get there. Just wait a little while. You can have complete health. Wait. You can get that admission. Wait. Lift your hands and tell God, I'm waiting on you. Let me see your wonders. I'm waiting on you, Lord. Job said, all the days of my life will I wait till my change come. I'm waiting on you, Lord. I'm waiting, Lord. Come on, speak to him. Lord, I'm waiting. King of glory, I'm waiting. Ancient of days, I'm waiting. I know what you can do. I'm waiting on you, Lord. Let me see your wonders. I'm waiting. Come on, pray. A, prayer, a prayerless life is a contradicting force. Begin to tell God, I believe that you will change my story. I believe that you can fix me. I believe that you can settle me. I believe that you can liberate me. Begin to speak to God. 
begin to speak. My days of the miraculous is now. My days for the miraculous has come. I believe in what you will do. Begin to tell God, I believe, I believe, Jesus, I believe, King of glory, I believe. Go ahead and begin to speak to him. In Jesus, my test name will pray. You see why the young man was waiting in Psalm 77. In verse 11, he said, I will remember. He says, I will remember the work of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. Ha. He said, I will also meditate. I will also meditate on all your works. Verse 12. On all your that's waiting period. You are able, more than able. He was saying it to accomplish what concerns me today. He was telling God, why waiting? Why waiting? Somebody lift your voice and say, Lord, give me grace to wait. Lift your voice right now. Give me grace to wait. Give me grace to wait. I don't want to reign for a while. Give me grace to wait. Give me grace to wait. Give me grace. Give me grace to wait. Lord, I receive grace. Somebody pray. I receive grace. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Someone said, I'm not going to cut corners. I'm going to get to the top through the right process. Tell me, I'm not going to cut corners. I receive grace to be well processed. Tell me, I receive grace to be well processed. I can see it that there is a place for me at the top. I can see it. That my place is among the mighty. And I know that my God is not slow. His hand is not short to save me. For all the days of my life will I, Uluwafemi, wait till my change come. I'm close. I'm very close. I'm getting there. I'm close. I'm very close. And I'm getting there. Come on, somebody tell God, I'm waiting on you. Go ahead and tell him. Go ahead and tell him. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now I speak over you now. The grace to believe. Receive it now. The grace to embrace a prayerful lifestyle. Receive it now. Amen. I speak over your life now. In the name of Jesus. The grace to wait on God. Receive it now. Amen. Things will work for you. Amen. All things will work for you. Amen. Everything will work for you. Amen. And all things will answer mightily. To the glory and honor of Jesus. Amen. Come on, if you believe it, say loud, amen. amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. It's a great night. Amen. Let's package our offering before the Lord. Lift up your offerings. You're watching online. You can make use of the online transfers. Speak to your offering. Lord, I believe what you can do.